<laughs> yes, I, I look a bit funny now. We are. Uh, well, it's, uh, uh, I'm the headman of Panier Spark now. Dirimegara. <laughs> How you guys doing, man? You guys good? Yeah. You guys fantastic. You guys are doing well. No, no, no. Hey, me, I'm focused now. Me, I'm only hanging out with girls with equity. <laughs> so the delish and them, na tegerere manga. Me, I'm looking at Tashia Kalondo. Maybe dance in the family. Actually, if Tashia is around, I'd just like to ask Tashia, hey, and you think, Tashia, can you please just accept my friend request on Facebook? <laughs> I just want to be friends. The Brave Warriors won. My goodness, we are winning. You guys, we are the best in the region. I, I didn't expect it. It's our first win. I don't think we've even made it to the final. So we don't really know what to do with the trophy. We, we don't know where to put it, do you? Like, who's allowed to touch it? Like, do, do you just, right now, it's just sitting at, uh, you no, know, no, isn't it uh, Manetti's kitchen table? Guys, we are still coming drinking Jameson with appetizer, really? Are we still just on that? The Jameson chasing with the... Look, because in Oshakati, we have advanced, huh? In Oshakati, we're on another level. In Oshakati, it's customary now to chase your Johnny Walker double black with a shot of anointed water. <laughs> True story. One shot of anointed water. Yeah. It's a, you have like a shot of anointed water. It's like, you, it's like you, 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 you are sinning and cleansing your sins at the same time. You wash away the sins with each sip. No, no, guys, in Oshakati, we are advanced now. We are not about this stuff. You'll be at an event like this. Tomononga, baby woman that you are for, and panda, you like the girl, and you are engaging, you are hoping, you know, to engage in like a, you know, overnight relationship. You, you take your bottle of anointed water and you sprinkle on first. Akucha, sister, are you ready? Because I am. This is all in God's plan. No, no, anointed water is a thing now in the north. I don't, I, I don't know how it started, but it's, guys are buying it by the liter, man. 500 milliliters, five flipping five liter bottles. Women are cooking with anointed water now. <laughs> now people need to chill a little bit with that stuff, man. I think, actually, anybody whose girlfriend went to the Trey Song concert, when she comes back, you must sprinkle now anointed water. <laughs> Maybe she can wash away all those impure thoughts that she was having there. Let, don't let that come into your house. <laughs> ah, no, man. No, it was a crazy weekend, man. I love it. But no, we are moving forward, guys. The weekend was the weekend. Yes, it should calm down. We are waiting for the 31st of July. Yes. Affirmative repositioning. We are going to... Like, I'm excited about this whole... What? Really, guys? Are we not together? Oh, okay, I see. Now that we are on this side of the Western Bypass, you guys, we, we do not have the same problems. Let us focus, guys. I'm a bit worried, though, like Job's crew, like Anditi, how far are we? Are, no? Because we need a plan, guys. This whole thing that you're going to take, I'm excited about the whole affirmative repositioning thing. Because, you know, of two things. Firstly, I'm a professional electrical engineer, so who work. And the other reason is because I'm in Ganjera. And this idea of taking plots. Shashinga u plot on the umono nare, man. I just like a plot a hano. I just imagine man open on posty, man. So I'm excited, man. But I'm just a bit worried, man, because there's no plan, man. And the 31st of July, man, flip. It's 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 cold. It's winter, guys. Some, are, some of us are used to warm things. Now I'm in a Kambashu somewhere in hours close to the present because I can't go that side. We are thinking. We are looking this side. Hours, Kleiner Cooper. So now I'm doing the Kambashu. It's cold. We need at least like an AR starter pack. Now, child, what do I need? Do I need an X, a small blanket, like a two-way radio? Because July... Co coincidentally, it's also the time the police are demolishing shakes. This is just... Because, listen, we need a plan, guys. Because I've, I've, I've Googled, you know, revolutions. And all the poorly planned revolutions, at some gathering, there's always that guy who stands on the, car, on the car little box and starts talking stuff, which always starts off really cool. And then they just become progressively like, okay. Because it always starts like, 
Viva revolutionary youth! Viva! <laughs> then it goes like, yeah, no retreat, no surrender, viva! <laughs> and then it goes like, then like okay, uh, if they want to stop us, they'll have to kill us, viva! <laughs> viva! I'm like, whoa, what? Whoa, what? No, I said Viva Revolution. No, no, after that. Ah, yeah. You know, Shakati is customary now to chase your Johnny Walker double black with a shot of anointed water. Viva Revolutionary Youth! Viva! No retreat, no surrender! Viva! You have like a shot of anointed water, it's like... You, it's like you, 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 you are sinning and cleansing your sins at the same time. A lot of politicians or like a lot of comrades have now retired or they are retiring now. And um, the comrades, you know, they become, they become things, man. You know, once you are a comrade, when you retire, you become a veteran, which is something really awesome. Because you get, you know, that the Shikongo, he gets that uh, like a pension payout. On top of that, he gets like a GWM, you know, health was men. Tapiano a kutu. Then he gets that envelope from the Ministry of Veteran Affairs. Suddenly, Tate Shikongo has developed like a passion for construction. He's like on site somewhere building houses. But the crazy thing is like some veterans have, you know, used their money to start, you know, security companies. And I must caution you guys against hiring a security company owned by a veteran. Because these guys have been through a war. These guys take things very seriously. These guys have been trained by the Russians and Cubans. These guys take instructions very seriously. So when you tell a veteran, I tell, okay, no, Chief E, this is my event, and you know, uh, please, if anybody tries to mess it up, huh, please handle the situation, resolve everything. The problem with the veteran is, when you say if anybody... To him, anybody means anybody, including you. Now, let's be honest, guys. How many people have been beaten up in Oshakati by their own security guards? Because of that, no, listen, guys, actually, you, you know you'll be there, your function is going, your, your, your boys, you had a few drinks, I said, no, no, guys, just come in, man, it's my party. Suddenly, Pina is like, no, no, man, I'll chat to you, no, but, hey, sauce, hey, and the tea, hey. No, guys. <laughs> No lie, guys. I attended, I attended a wedding. I attended a wedding with a groom and his groomsmen got beaten up by one security guard. No, seriously, this security guard, you know, Pinias just went ham on the guys, man. It was rough. You got to be careful with these guys. But what I like is like the post-mortem of what, how it all went down. Now the guys are discussing. Okay, so... Pinias, oh, quite one thing, man. Yes, yes. Tarikem, quite one thing, man. You beat this guy, man. No, man. You just beat this guy. And Pinias, is, 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 the, the excuse is always like, no, oh, chiri, the guy in the chair, quite to. Because you have to see these modern weddings, man. The guy does, you know, the guy has a mohawk. He's got like a slim fit suit. It's, 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 it's. We can understand Pinias, no? Be wary. Of security companies, those Oka Kulumbati security services. Watch those guys, watch those guys. No, 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 no. I like, I like the ladies, the veterans who are ladies. Like right now, the, the, all the lady veterans, we all own like a chicken farm somewhere. We have like, everybody has a chicken farm now. There's just chicken everywhere. Me, I'm a big fan of chicken, like especially in the village. Because when I was small, like in the village, you'd always tell, Nagucha, the house with the most girls. All the chickens in that house had very few toes. <laughs> yeah, the more girls, no, seriously, I won't tell you, like, it's true. Like, the more girls are in the homestead, the fewer toes the chickens have. You know why? Because of the weaves and the Brazilians and the whatnot. So whenever they throw it away, the chickens step on the things. Now all the chickens are, like, recovering. They're all, like, you know, disabled, suffering, living with disabilities. Okay, and you show chicken. Oh! Well, Aguja, it's not true. Am I lying? It's true. The hotter the girls, the fewer the toes. No ways, man. 
My mom also is a chicken farm. Uh, I like, I like, uh, I love my mom, Mimi. Did you got TV? Yeah. She actually thinks I'm here waking. No, my mom, I love my mom, but my mom scares me, man. You know, because the thing about Vambu parents is that Vambu parents are not afraid to beat their kids at whatever age. And my mom believes me, she believes that she can discipline me at this age. And I must say, my mom is about this store. And she's always looking at me like, oh, I can't do thing. I'm like, oh, man, man. Ah, yeah. No. Since day one, my mom has been giving me that thing. I can't do thing. I've always been like, who's going to catch you for me, man? I'm too fast. But she tries, man. You know, and, and I, this is why I don't go out with my mom. Like, we don't go to town. and Because, you know, you know, she gets angry because, firstly, Vambu mothers like to use their kids as placeholders. Like, you come out going shopping with your mom, but you're just standing in F&B the whole day. Yeah. So I wander off. You know, I wander off. No, the line, you took too long. I was in front, and then I let the other tate. Then she gets angry. Then she wants to, like, you know, slap me. But I'm like, no, baby, you cannot slap me. We are in F&B, baby. I'm on TV now these days. What do people say now? Say, like, I got beaten up by the mother in F&B. No. No ways, man. But I'd like to tell you guys right now, Vambu parents, Vambu mothers do not give a damn about who you think you are. You. Are you? I said, no, man, man. I mean, I, 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 you cannot make me you know, make the grass disappear. You know the hole in the grass outside the yard? Maybe I cannot be cleaning the yard. I'm the CEO of Oshako Investment CC. I'm MD. I cannot be seen wrecking the yard in the morning. How? But the mother, my mom only has one question. Actually, most mothers only have one question, you know, like, so CEO, mm, CEO in my house. And I tell you guys, I tell you guys right now, there's only one answer to that question. Like, you, you have to understand the, the, the hierarchy in my mom's house. At the top, there's God. Right beneath God is the Zali. So you and Mr. CEO, you want to squeeze in between the Zali and God. There's no space. Just go and, oh, but I hate, oh, I hate. If I could, because we, we also sell goats. Pomatara every year. Like, there's no need for me, Meme, to be out there selling goats. <laughs> I, it's just, it's not right. <laughs> but she doesn't care, Ochiria. She doesn't give a damn, Ochiria. <laughs> My mom runs the house like a small country. <laughs> where she has all the positions of power. <laughs> she is a CEO. She is the president. MD on all parastatals. <laughs> Minister of Education. Minister of Finance, Minister of Agriculture, can take any men. There is. I can't. It's hard, man. It's not easy, girl. But my mom is so cool. My grandmother is on another level. She runs like a, like it's also a country, but it's like an older country. It's been independent for longer. The whole economy is based on agriculture. There's a lot of limering. You're going to be hoeing the field. The field is huge. And I always had a problem. Like, I've never really been brave enough to ask my grandmother this because my, my grandmother wakes up super early in the morning, like early before the sun comes out, you know, just to go in the, in the field. I always had a question. I tell, Kuku, Chiri, Kuku, listen. Kuku, is the mahangu wild? Why do we have to sneak up on it at night? Is it wild, Cuckoo? Because now everybody, and I mean everybody, the kids, everybody, they get you a hole your size. You get mine is this one, like a small kid, he gets a smaller hole. Now you're all standing, it's dark, you can't see anything. It's only who can see it. Oh, aye. Is the Mahangu wild, Mahangu wild, Cuckoo? No, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Thank you very much. Bring your mind.